Hi, today we are going to see one more topic from Informatica that is normalizer transformation. What is normalizer transformation? It is active and connected transformation. A normalizer transformation receives a row that contains multiple occurring columns and returns a row for each instance of the multiple occurring data. The normalizer transformation passes multiple occurring columns from COBOL sources, relational tables or other sources. What is normalization? Actually, normalization is the process of organizing the data. We will see one small example and we will see the rest of the theory later. And here we are having one source which contains six columns. It contains employee name, employee year, transport, house rent and food. This transport, house rent and food are expenses and what is our requirement is in the target we are going to have a separate expense, expenses type column and these expenses will come in the expenses type column so for one row in target we will be having three rows so here if you are having six rows means in target we will be having 18 rows that means it will be converted into 18 records how we are going to convert this column to rows we will see in the map here already I have created one map and source I have already imported and here I have used one expression transformation and one normalizer transformation we will see how to handle the normalizer transformation okay. in expression transformation we need to drag all the columns from the source which is expression transformation apart from that we are going to create three ports this is expenses type 1 expenses type 2 and expenses type 3 because here here we are having three expenses type that is transport house rent and food for that we will be creating three output ports okay and it will be connected to the appropriate expenses type in the normalizer transformation I am deleting it and I will show how to create this normalizer transformation. This is the normalizer transformation. We have to click this icon and we have to drag like this. And one unique feature of the normalizer transformation is we cannot drag the ports from the previous transformation to this normalizer transformation. We need to create the normalizer uh, transformation ports manually where we have to create means in the normalizer tab tab only we can create ok first we will see how to rename it and for your information naming conversion it, is, it always start with nrm nrm by weot records i am going to give like this ok name i have then in normalizer tab i am going to create the columns first one is e name I will tell you about the level and uh, occurs afterwards. N string 20 I am giving and E year. And then uh, expenses type. expenses type is string only and then expenditure that is the amount okay here we have created it but actually we need if you see the port it has created only one set but we need three sets of records that means expenses type 1, expenses type 2 and expenses type 3. What we have to do for that? For that we need to group these strings under the heading called expenses. How we are going to do? We have to click this. Then it will create one record and we will be using it as our heading. Under expenses we are going to group these two columns okay already I have uh, grouped under this level so it is now level 2 if you click this then expenditure will also go to the level 2 okay 
then expenses we need to create three times then we have to put the number three here then, then automatically the uh, three sets of records will be created so now it is created the three sets of records that means three sets of ports it created okay. and here two more ports has been created that is GK expenses and GCID expenses GK is nothing but the primary key I will tell you okay now we can drag this I will tell I will tell uh, about the GK and uh, that uh, sequence ID later okay we have to drag this like this and e here expenses type and this is the expenditure amount okay when let me check this is the expense and house rent this is the type and house rent amount okay and then food expenses type number three and food expenditure amount okay these are all the uh, output okay here from e name you are going to click this and e here this is the output port actually then expenses type and expenditure this is the output port and expenditure and sequence seek I, I told about the sequence number what is that sequence number actually here the two ports extra has been created one is for uh, the uh, primary key which is always start with the one when we create the normalized normalizer transformation the gk value that is the generated key value is one by default the naming convention for this normalizer generated key is always gk underscore one more column is the sequential id that is that is for within the group actually if you are having three records um, uh, if you are going to create for one uh, source if you are going to create three records means then sequence number one two three would be allocated for that record we will see now it is getting allocated and gc id expenses i am for uh, display purpose only i have created this sequence number otherwise there is no need to create that and we have created it and uh, workflow already have created it it is very easy to create you know how to create the workflow then we will check everything is okay oh, guys, it seems to be okay as we made some changes let people refresh the map and save it and we can start running let we will see target expenses is empty okay it is empty actually and now we are going to run this one it has got succeeded actually and here uh, it has got generated for every that one row it is here it is converted into three records so that the sequence number one two three is allocated if it is occurring more than three means then sequential number will be incremented to how much more we have specified in the occur column that means four times it is getting repeated means and sequence number will be generated up to the number four okay this is just for this display purpose I have shown it and regarding this primary key if you are having in the source itself means we can use that primary key itself in the target for that in the normalizer normalizer transformation we have to specify like this here there is one column called key type here if you specify that it is the primary key then the source primary key itself we can use it as a primary key otherwise we can go for this GK primary key okay this is the way you have to handle this uh, normalizer transform this is a simple source way of got and you can try yourself with the complicated source and in uh, source we have got six records and in the target we have got 18 records so it's worked fine actually for every expense type we have got the expenditure right okay thanks bye